Hello, welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to be learning about the theme. The theme is the big idea or message of a story. During our time together today, we are going to fill in this chart. It's going to be our job to discover different clues that are located in the story. These clues will help us discover the theme. During our time together today, we will be reading A Spring Birthday. A Spring Birthday is considered realistic fiction. Do you remember what realistic fiction is? If not, it's okay. I'm going to share some characteristics with you. Realistic fiction is a made up story about characters and events. It has events that could happen in real life. Realistic fiction also has a beginning, a middle, and an end. As we read A Spring Birthday today, I want you to pay close attention because we need to find clues to fill in our chart, which will help us discover the theme of the story. Let's begin reading. May was a happy time for Marco. It was his birthday month. Can I have a party this year? He asked. Then my friends can celebrate with me. It's our family tradition to have a birthday dinner, said Graham. Your friends can join us. I will make empanadas for everyone. Nobody makes better empanadas, Graham. Marco said, but it would be fun to do something new this year. How about a picnic? Dad asked. I heard about a nice spot in the park on Elm Street. It's in front of the ball field. We can push the tables together. That sounds like fun, said Marco. We can have hot dogs, burgers, and Grant's empanadas. At last, it was the morning of Marco's birthday. He opened his eyes. He saw mom and dad and Graham. They were singing the Mexican birthday song, Las Minetas. Marco sprang out of bed. He could not wait for his party. Mom and dad went shopping before the party. First, they got a baseball mitt for Marco. Then they bought a birthday cake and a pinata. Everyone met at the picnic spot. Happy birthday! Feliz cumpleaños, Marco! They shouted. Mom hung the pinata. Dad spread out the food. There were hot dogs, burgers, and yummy empanadas. After lunch, the children took turns striking the pinata. Each one swung three times. The pinata was difficult to hit. At last, it split open. The kids shrieked and scrambled for the treats. Next, Marco opened his gifts. When he saw the baseball mitt, he cried, thank you, this is just what I wanted. I can use it in the game tomorrow. When it was time for cake, Marco's family sang the Mexican birthday song again. Marco's friends hummed along, then mom taught them the words so they could sing it too. This is the best birthday party I've ever had, Marco said. Can we do this again next year? Sure, said Graham. It's fun to mix the old with the new. A spring picnic can be your birthday tradition. Wow, that was a phenomenal story. Now it is up to us to find the clues that were located in our story in order to discover the theme. 
Do you remember what a theme is? Let's go back to our slides. Remember, the theme is the big idea or message of a story. Let's take a look at our story on page 285. Two eighty five reads. It's our family tradition to have a birthday dinner. Said Graham, your friends can join us. I will make empanadas for everyone. Nobody has better empanadas, Graham, Marco said, but it would be fun to do something new this year. On this page, one clue is that a birthday dinner is the family's tradition. Let's put that on our chart. A birthday dinner is the family's tradition. Let's take a look at our story again to discover some more clues. On this page, we read that mom and dad went shopping before the party. First, they got a baseball mitt for Marco. Then they bought a birthday cake and a pinata. Everyone met at the picnic spot. Happy birthday, Feliz cumpleaños, Marco, they shouted. On our next page, we read, mom hung the pinata. Dad spread out the food. There were hot dogs, burgers, and yummy empanadas. Wow, this page is packed with so many clues. Let's put them on our chart. We discovered that Marco's family had a picnic with a pinata, empanadas, and other kinds of foods. So, Marco's family has a picnic with a pinata, empanadas, and other kinds of foods. All right, let's go back to our story to figure out our last clue. This clue we're going to use to help us build our theme. On page 291, we read, this is the best birthday party I've ever had, Marco said. Can we do this again next year? That's a clue. Marco wants a birthday party picnic next year. Let's write that down. Marco wants a birthday picnic next year. So far, we have a birthday dinner is the family's tradition. Marco's family has a picnic with a pinata, empanadas, and other kinds of food. And Marco wants a birthday picnic next year. Our theme is that you can blend old and new to make a new tradition. Blend old and new to make a new tradition. Wow, that was pretty great. Guess what, friends? We are all done with our time together today. You've done such a great job learning about the theme. Remember, the theme is the big idea or message of a story. Congratulations, you're all done. I'll see you next time.